Isaac, Isaac kept, kept to himself, himself drawing, drawing pictures, pictures and playing, playing with his toys, toys while his mom watched Christian, Christian back. back. I'm trying to see if I can remember the whole thing at this point, but I probably don't because I mashed the space bar too quickly. A little embarrassing. We're due for an Eden run today. We're, we're approaching 30 wins, which would be amazing. Aha! Uh -huh, okay, this is scary. Incredibly fast rate of fire. Uh, is that like torn photo going on? No, it's Cricket's head. Okay, and just a really good tier stat, I guess. MZ8M E6E8. We have the D6, we have Cricket's head, we have no HP. And we have five cents also right off the bat. This is an incredible long-term start. Long-term, I almost can't fathom us losing. I know it's very early to say that. Short-term, this is exceptionally dangerous. There will be enemies that could kill me in one hit. There will be rooms that could hit me twice and kill me. I really need to pick up a key and get a spirit heart as soon as possible. This is the dangerous run, man. This is the one where, you know, basically the first floor becomes the be-all, end-all. I, uh, I can't go back there yet. Thought maybe we'd get some money out of that. Uh, there's no tinted rock here. I also, like, sort of don't want to fight the boss yet, just in case we get something that gives us spirit hearts on the item room. I can take this. Oh, that's real bad. Okay, um, shoot the fire. I can't stress enough that this is almost certainly the most tier damage I've ever started with on an Eden run. Maybe, like, if we had an Impacac run, it might be slightly better. Well, it were a lot better for that matter, but this is an insanely good rate of fire, and, uh... This is so weird. I, I like, I want to re-roll it to get... I gotta take it. I gotta take it. That way we can re-roll the boss room in case it's a, uh, in case it's not HP or an all stats or, you know, gives me some kind of ability that way. Um, this could be great for us in the future, but for now, mostly we just have to, you know, live with it. Uh, I hope we fight maybe Pin, and then all we gotta do is get out of the way. But I took this because it's almost like taking, I don't know, Gamma Guts and Nuclear Throne. It's like if we get hit once, at least it'll it'll hurt the enemy a decent amount as well. And if we get some invincibilities, we could have amazing synergies with this. All we need is some HP here, and all of a sudden this is good. Or a bomb to access that tinted rock, or a key. There's so many different ways out. This should do it. I will go to the curse room now. Uh, I think we I think we got lucky. Let's be honest. This is an ideal run. If it was not for the streak, I would have loaded up this Eden run and been like, oh my god, this is incredible. This is amazing. It's just because we start with. I think I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I think it's a little too risky on Curse of the Maze to try that curse room. Might get unlucky and teleport back in there or something. We should just go to be safe rather than sorry. Um, yeah, it, it was only because of the streak that I was like, okay, this is amazing, but I could super easily just bite the dust here. Uh, it, it really is one of the most amazing Eden starts I've ever seen. You get the best of Isaac, if you consider the D6 to be the best of Isaac, which I probably do. Um, Combined with Cricket's Head, one of the best items in the game. Just a really, really powerful start. You don't often get that as Eden. Now that we've got this Spirit Heart, I feel really good about things. And, oh my god, you're going to give me the mulligan as well? It's looking super nice. But I will say there is still one uh, one way out. Uh, one, I mean, there's lots of ways we could lose this one. But I think the most common way that we would probably lose this one is to take an ill-advised deal with the Devil and then never pick up HP again or have a lot of... Uh, failed opportunities to pick up HP, maybe? We'll see, though. I will definitely blow this up. And a small rock now would just be ridiculous. They did not give me that. Um, that's definitely a better trinket for us, I think. Might not be able to get to 15 cents on this floor. If so, we could always open that golden chest. And uh, two of clubs might allow us to get into the shop anyway. We'll see, though. Yeah, this this damage is out of control right now, but uh, we're, we're not out of it yet. Oh, that really helped out a lot actually we're not out of it yet with respect to like never being able to die but we're, we're getting close I think we'll take HP we'll see what we got it is uh, just red chests and for once I think I'm actually like kind of stoked about this I'm like you know what just red chests is okay by me right now 48 hour energy I mean not immediately worthwhile I think I'll crack this open and I'm happy I did because now we basically traded one key for four, well, for seven bombs. Because I can do that now. Hopefully this is the secret room. 
That's extremely uh, good luck, and that is an awful lot of money. I realize that we're going to make Midas Touch worse by doing this, but what are we going to do with... Oh my god, what are we going to do with Midas Touch right now anyway? Nothing unless we get some kind of invincibility. So we're going to go to our shop, we're going to go to our curse room. Curse room, we're hoping we have the opportunity to pick up like a guppy active item and then reroll it. That is no such luck, but also totally fine. I found pills, uh, could be worse. And we'll buy a key. Reroll these. I like them both. I like them both, but I think we gotta go map. And apart from that, I think we can honestly just leave. And, you know, we're, we're way ahead of schedule. That's because our damage is just ridiculous right now. We should try to find a uh, an eternal heart on our second secret room, if it's at all possible. I don't want to take forever to look for it. This might be the last opportunity, actually. Yeah, we got lucky. And, you know, two bombs for a black heart, I think, is uh, pretty good. Bombs for a black heart. It sort of works. Allow me to channel my inner Andre 3000 with the physique of Big Boy. What do we have? Uh, okay, Catacombs 1. I really, I, I hope that I didn't send the wrong message at the start of this. Nobody likes to be like, you see the, the kid who was born to like, extremely rich parents be like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, I mean sure I could do nothing, but this is like an incredible quandary for me. You know, like you're gonna be fine either way. This Eden run is so good, and we started so strong. Definitely should have waited to reroll Magneto though. Um, that I was like, I, the only thing I was concerned about was getting hit right off the bat, which is something that can totally happen. Oh, we totally want BFF as well. It can happen, it has happened, I've lost, you know, at least one Eden run with Sacred Heart just due to having low HP and, and taking shit damage. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually very thankful that we made it out of this, but I will reframe my character. As opposed to being, uh, you know, oh, woe is me if we get hit once we're dead kind of guy, now I can be insufferable, holy shit, like this is an incredible run, we're about to get 29 wins if we play our cards right kind of guy. I don't know what people would rather I be, but I guess that's what I'm going to stick with for now. I'm excited, man. 30 wins would be... I mean, it's the first meaningful measure after crossing the 25 streak that was previously, like, the best that I'd had for, like, five or six months. And I know now that glory is fleeting, you know? It's like a uh, an NFL quarterback who has an amazing rookie season and then sucks in his second season. In his rookie season, he's living life, you know, he's playing air hockey with Funk Master Flex a la ESPN NFL Football 2K5, but... He doesn't get it, man. He doesn't get it that glory fades. He doesn't have that person, you know, uh, yeah, we'll just take this. He doesn't have that person walking behind him whispering in his ear, you know, like, you're mortal. When I was getting that 25 win streak, I recall having the sentiment of, like, man, I wonder if we could just never lose. I wonder if we could just never lose again. And now I know that that is ridiculous. I mean, at the time, I knew it was mathematically ridiculous. But now I know it's sentimentally ridiculous as well, and I appreciate it more. You know, I'm surviving here a little bit. How you doing, Kanye? I'm surviving. I was drinking earlier. Now I'm driving. I still... If I could ask Kanye West one question, I would say, Kanye, in the song Power, when you talk about drunk driving, are you, um... Is it, uh, like a self-aware, um, self-loathing kind of thing? Like, you hate yourself for driving drunk, but you're emotionally unstable at the moment? Or is it more like you're bragging about it? Because one of those is, like, a super bad, uh, example to make. I mean, you know, you could argue that, that, that a lot of rap music uh, contains things, or a lot of music in general. I don't want to definitely, like, single out rap music, but I do listen to a, a lot of rap and the hip-hop kind of music. And as a defense mechanism, I'll say that in the most grandpa way possible, so people will think it's a joke, but it's not a joke. Then I don't think there should be anything to be ashamed about that. Only reason people think there's something to be ashamed about is because there's like all those kinds of people who are like, I listen to everything, every kind of music. I've got an extremely open musical mind, except for rap, country, anything made before the 1960s, uh, anything that, you know, has an unusual time signature, anything that's not in the only language that I speak, etc., etc. And then also, fuck classical. Um, but, like, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of rap music is bravado, and it's fake, like when... Uh, Ice Cube says at the end of it was a good day. I didn't even have to use my a my AK. I gotta say it was a good day. I think most people watching or listening to the song probably realize that uh, Ice Cube on the regular probably did not fire off an AK-47 in South Central Los Angeles as he later admitted himself was mostly for show. Um, 
However, when you like drunk driving is something you know, don't don't do it. Just don't do it. Have a, have a plan uh, arrive alive. That's not a cool crime. There's some cool crimes, man. Like artistic graffiti is a cool crime. Stealing to feed your family. I'm not gonna say that's cool, but that's like you know justifiable. Driving drunk because you're too lazy or you know too cheap to pay for a taxi and did, just didn't make a plan and we're like it'll work itself out. You know, it's like don't don't do that. I know there's pro statistically there's probably some people out here watching this who have driven drunk or even make a habit of it. it. Like seriously, that's super like not cool at all. It's not cool in the moment, but it's like especially not cool like if you end up getting in an accident and hurting someone, including yourself, man. You don't deserve that shit. You don't deserve to get killed by a drunk driver. Even if you are driving drunk, but that's the way it's gonna happen. Potentially. Fuck it, that's the way it's gonna happen next time. So don't do it. I'll be I'll be the ghost in your ear, man. I'll be that whiskey in your liver. But not, that was a really bad reference to make there. I liked it, I was titillated by it because it was, um... Jizz's liquid swords, which is <laughs> when you say it like that, comes out funny. However, don't drive drunk. That's stupid. All right. Um, I, I'm just I'm doing all the rooms basically as we come across them here because I feel like uh, you know we'll be able to buy a reroll in the shop anyway, and we might as well clear out these rooms. You know, we have the magnet. We might as well get some consumables. And honestly, like as much as I've maligned the magnet, it's actually working out pretty nicely for us thus far. Try to get this guy first if we can. Uh, it, it has worked out well. And actually, now that I think about it, we could always just use our reroll on IV bag instead. Like, there is a use for IV bag if we get Bloody Lust or Horror of Babylon, but I like the D6. We're about to have it again in a second anyway. Well, not in a second probably, but on our next run anyway. But now it's all about, like, like our damage is good enough to at least carry us for the next few floors. Give us a good chance to get another deal with the devil or deal with the angel. We've been doing a lot of those lately. Necessity's the mother of invention, I suppose. But we're looking for some kind of invincibility. And uh, admittedly, Game Kid does do that, but I need it, or I want it to be faster. It can be Unicorn Horn. It's a little faster, I think. Or I mean, that might be six rooms still. But really, we're looking for Unicorn Stump to use it uh, every every single room. Triple A battery is good. I'm going to take it uh, over petrified poop. Suicide King scares the shit out of me. I could I could very easily do a panic like hit Q. I've done it many times before. Let's try to avoid it. Hopefully it keeps me fresh here. Triple uh, A battery is great for a couple of reasons. The obvious one is is the core of it. However, um, now, with all the invincibility items, if they take a while to work, Book of Shadows, for example, um, now they won't take as long to work because we have a AAA battery. Plus, our money situation is looking pretty good. Let's check out our shop. Reroll uh, very fast approaching. I would reroll Steam Sale at this point. We were not going to get the chance, but I would have. Uh, before we go back and reroll the game kit, I think we should save our current rerolls just in case we get a deal with the devil soon. Plus, our item room is right here. Crystal Ball. That's definitely worth re-rolling as well, on, on the same level as the Game Kid. Ah, Capricorn. Fantastic pickup. Now give me Magic Mush on the same room. Ah, you, you thought about it. I saw you think about it. Alright, don't hit Q, hit Tab. There we go. So Capricorn, second best all stats upgrade in the game, I think. Made all pro its first year out of uh, Wichita State. Yo! America, you gotta understand, okay? Schools, there's there's a whole class of schools, you know, post-secondary in, uh, institutions in the United States called state schools, but they're not named after the state. Some of them are, you know? There's like Illinois State, you know, that's so much better. Indiana State, maybe, or, but like, Kansas State, that's one. Why are some of them, though, named ridiculous things? You know, what the fuck is Ball State? It's in Indiana, I think, but why don't they just call it Indiana State University and say it's Ball State? I don't know what that means. What the fuck is the state of Ball? I mean, I get that it's actually kind of like a good name if you're playing some basketball. Now that I think about it, I understand it. Uh, but, like, for real, man, just name it Kansas. Indiana. 
It's already hard enough. Well, there's already an Indiana University. Then call it Indiana State, man. There's fucking... There's Texas. There's Texas A&M. There's probably Texas State. It's, it's absurd. It makes it very difficult for those of us on the outside looking in. Okay, so I got rid of Suicide King for Yera. That's the only way around it. People have been asking for more Angel Runs. I don't want to do more Angel Runs, but more Angel Runs happen. <laughs> I don't... Apparently, I have no control over it. We have a strong... Uh, tendency to get a deal with the devil that gives us nothing right off the bat, so I'll take the key piece, and if we get to fight Mega Satan, sweet, we get to fight Mega Satan. If we don't, sweet, we don't get the, we don't have to fight Mega Satan, but we'll, we'll go down there anyway. No counterfeit penny, no, ah, that's awesome. Alright, 54 cents. This is good stuff. Game Kid gets rerolled into lard. I don't think we need it, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with our existing HP and don't even want to take a small speed downgrade. Uh, plus, we'd lose some spirit hearts in the process, so as we head down to the next floor. A little bit slower than Boss Rush, but that's okay. Allow me to take a sip of my coffee. Mmm! I kind of like it. 48 hour energy. I found pills. Luck up, that's great. Speed up, that's great. Uh, we'll take 48 hour energy. Was there something? We want to reroll lard now, yeah. Lovely. Hopefully we get more angel statues at this point. Have we already fought our mini-bosses in the, the boss trap room? I think we have. We have. I'll take it. It's admittedly copping out a little bit here. Or is it? Because now I can take the Suicide King pickup. And just see what it gives me. Now, I don't really understand how to use Suicide King effectively, so I'm just going to use it on our... on this room and see what happens. And we got Super Bandage out of it, which seems awesome. Um, and, like, a lot of... a lot of shenanigans here. Was this actually in any way, shape, or form worth it? I think, like, certainly not. <laughs> like, almost definitely no. In, I think we lost a lot of HP for almost no reason. Did my Yara rune get rerolled in here? Suicide King rerolls your Yara rune? How does that make any sense at all? Well, okay, at least, you know, we've learned that for the future. Um, well, you know, we'll, we'll take uh, Temperance down to the next. Oh, no, I put it back here. Good, good, good. I'm not going to lie to you. That was strange. Uh, and I think in the end, we basically just gave five heart containers up for nothing. But, was it for nothing, or was it for the... Oh, it wasn't... Okay, technically... That sucks. But technically, it was not for nothing. Because I actually became Blue Baby in the process there. I thought we'd just get H... Oh, well, that was dumb. I thought we'd just get HP back when we had that Eternal Heart, but no. Actually, we're full-on Blue Baby right now, which means we're guaranteed permanent Polaroid invincibility. We're guaranteed the... Uh, Oh, that was so bad. We're guaranteed to have the best possible chance of deals with the devil. Because we can't take red heart damage. Um, and we're guaranteed, like, uh, the Whore of Babylon, if we can get it. We probably won't, though, because we'll be on Angel Rooms. Uh, it was still a bad decision. Like, not even just bad, but a terrible decision. But it was kind of funny. And, I mean, that's what I assumed going in. I was like, this is not going to be good, but it might be hilarious. And this turned out to be mostly true. Uh, now let's not die, because dying for a joke is rarely a good decision in my experience. Alright, Sloth. Bob's Rotten Head. We could use the reroll pedestal. Oh, that's gotta be Bob's Rotten Head. And we'll just, I don't know. I doubt it. Worth a shot, maybe. No soy milk. Infamy. Infamy is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So this should be, uh, it's either going to be a dead end, an item room, or a shop. Yeah. Seemed like it. Inside of our shop. I think even though we have Midas Touch, we should pick up both of these just to see what they are. Humbling Bundle, so good. Champion Belt, so good. Luck up. Well worth it. We spent a lot of money there, but again, Midas Touch, it's, it's only worth talking about the synergy, or it's only worth talking about the item if you get the synergy. If you get the synergy, you don't have to worry about your money. You're going to be fine on money, because as soon as you start walking into enemies, uh, you're going to get a ton of money back. And then you're going to kill enemies faster, and you're going to get even more money even faster. Well, the same amount of money even faster. So this is this is good. The champion bell pickup for extra damage. Humbling bundle for way more consumables. And humbling bundle is like... 
You know, I say, like, oh, the ladder pays for itself sometimes by giving you extra consumables and, and literally maybe 15 extra cents over the course of a run. Humbling Bundle pays for itself in, like, two rooms. Okay, secret room is there. Oh, world. Moon. We could at least, like, do this. Check that out. We got I found pills. Bad gas, not very good. Then moon card out. Save ourselves half a spirit heart. Alrighty. And I like this. I have to be sharper now. I've basically guaranteed that um, by, by giving up so much HP. I'm sorry, Demon Judgment. We... <laughs> We had a chance, but we can't do it. Unfortunately for both of us, I think. The Ouija board. Not not very good, to be honest with you. We probably do want to go Mom's Pearl here. I can understand uh, wanting to stick with AAA battery. And let's keep in mind, we did have a chance to have Mom's Purse, and instead we took the map. However, I do think this is the right call. Ah! I really thought that would work. Okay, let's, let's do these rooms. I want to have rerolls ready. I'm actually a little happy we have deals with the Angel coming, because they won't cost me anything. And all of a sudden, this one's looking a little funky, huh? This one's looking a, li a little dangerous. I can't get too nervous about it yet. Not only will it affect performance, or so I've heard, but it'll also... Um, well, I mean, we, we don't have any reason to be nervous just yet. We have a, we have four spirit arts. We're almost, well, we're almost to the boss. Which is going to give us a cube of meat here. Which we'll probably reroll, honestly. To try to get something a little better. That's, maybe that's how you know I'm in a little bit of a desperate position, I guess. When I'm trying to reroll uh, a cube of meat into meat, which is much better, I think. And we'll just, we'll go down to the next floor and really hope for no Curse of the Blind. That would be fantastic. Necropolis 2. What do you got? I think it's probably worth a try here. Got a Spirit Heart out of that. Mega Mod decided to show up in the weirdest possible location. One of those is 48 hour energy for sure. I don't know what the other one is. And then we got Monstro 2. The Husk. Man, one of these days I'll figure out the order that these enemies come in. This is a tough one. Ah, that's fine. Uh, we'll use 48 hour energy right now. I think we will, uh, I think we will take Yero with us. Or sorry, well, yes, of course. But I think we will take, um, the, the Cancer Trinket with us. I think this saves us more HP than we would gain from the, uh, Mom's Pearl. But it's, I can't say for sure. It's very variable. But you know, I think if you're trying to win a run, uh, the the kiss principle applies. You know, the love gun principle. Now, the, the principle, you keep it simple, stupid. Take the, uh, take the best available trinket at your disposal, the best available item. That's where we're at right now. Now, I will admit that um, picking up the Ankh and then using Suicide King was definitely not using the kiss principle. That was using the cheap trick principle. Same era, but like a different principle altogether. Totally different uh, tenets associated. We gotta take the soul. That's just uh, an amazing item and a total no-brainer here. And uh, this is good. We'll, we'll have the ability to fight Mega Satan. The three spirit hearts and bullet deflection from the soul is so nice. Alright. Get in there, Mulligan. Do some extra damage. And save this run. Not that it's ever been in a truly dire position, but that soul pickup is nice. Oh, Northern Line, you got carried by the soul. Yo, excuse me. I'm the guy who committed to these angel rooms. Instead of going for the devil room, as always. And don't try to sell me on there being a correlation between our streak and these angel rooms. Or a, there is a correlation, but come on. Don't try to sell me on there being a causation. That's ridiculous. I think we've succeeded on a lot of these runs in spite of the angel rooms, as opposed to as a result of the angel rooms. This is gonna hurt. There's no way of getting out. There is a way of getting out of that one. I'm not good enough to do it. <laughs> or at least not right there. Let's look for a... Uh, oh, it doesn't really matter what we find in here. More money. Donate to our donation machine. Get as much done there as we can. I'm, you know, we picked up so many spirit hearts and the soul on this floor. I'm feeling pretty good. Already too late for boss rush. 
Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we'll try this, and then we'll probably try this. Wow. Alright. Chariot's, like, super good. Thank you, soul. We don't need to kill this guy, but we will. Because we can. I figured, like, we have to use the chariot card at some point. Otherwise, it's just a complete waste. Also, it was still a complete waste. That was one of the worst uses of the chariot card I've ever seen. Come on, small rock. Small rock. Ah, it's still good. Lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Okay. This Yara rune is still, you know, it's like children of men. we got to protect us with our life. It's the last one. For now. Plenty of batteries here. Uh, but you know what? Totally. Take Dead Onion. Shot speed down, no damage up, as I've uh, had beaten into my thick skull by now. But, much larger hitbox and uh, piercing shots now. I like Dead Onion. We have uh, Spectral Tears, but I think Dead Onion gives you Spectral Tears anyway. So in a way it feels like, you know, wasted. we wasted an item pedestal on the last floor, but what could we have done about it? We actually won't get a reroll before our next boss fight, so... Oh, but there's more batteries. Yeah, of course we will. Uh, let's buy both of these and then re-roll the crap out of them. And both of these are good enough. Yeah, I'll just take Fanny Pack. Alright, let's go back and get a battery here. Now we have a Joker card in addition to uh, the Arrow Rune, and that's fantastic. We obviously don't need it on this floor. Hopefully we don't need it on the next floor either. Uh, we have... Were they in the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> were they in the boss trap room? I think they were. Yeah, alright. Pick that up. And I think, uh, our decisions have worked out well for us on this floor. And it's, you know, we gotta say thank you to RN Jesus for that. There were many ways they could have worked out suboptimally, but, uh... Everything thus far has gone pretty well. We could have rerolled Fanny Pack another time or two, but... Fanny Pack's okay. And it saves me a little bit of time in the, in the overall process, obviously. I... I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. That's a pretty valuable part of that uh, equation for me. What do we need now? Uh, we have had blue cap on this run. So a uh, a shot speed upgrade. and Like blue cap plus dead onion, if, they, if it wasn't obvious. It's, I mean, our shot speed is pretty bad, which is affecting our range. Rather than getting range, I'd rather just get good shot speed. Which would uh, kill two birds with one stone. Hopefully. Almost done here. This is a really, really nice amount of damage. Yeah, we want the Polaroid. I don't know what I was even thinking about there. My brain just broke temporarily. It's like we could reroll it. Why did I even keep a reroll? We've already been to the Devil Room. Or the Angel Room, I should say. It's hard to get in the habit of changing the name for that. Probably like, and I'm, I'm not trying to oversell it, but like 30%, 20% of our runs lately have been Angel Room runs. Prior to this little streak it's literally been like once a month we'll get eight but I guess that's because I'm I'm committing to taking the key pieces which if you don't take the key pieces it's very hard to maintain angel uh, precedent I guess could we be mega Satan on this run I think uh, fairly easily yeah especially considering we got eight items coming on the chest I mean we don't know if those are gonna be good items or shit items or with curse of the blind perhaps even like items that ruin our run, but we uh, we don't have to know that for now. We can always tackle that in the future. There's no way for me to predict it anyway. Um, you know what? For old time's sake. Have taken a little bit more damage than I'd like to admit here. Uh, one of the number one items on my Christmas list right now would be some kind of defensive item. Cancer for three spirit hearts plus the wafer effect after we get hit once, or just the wafer. For no spirit hearts, but saves us a lot in the overall scheme of things. I don't think I can reach you, man. Thank you. Flies. Yo, flies, you're fast. You gotta get in there. Oh, you almost... Eh! We did it? We did it. Okay. Fucking masks, man. We killed one somehow. Must have been a fly that hit uh, the heart while I wasn't paying attention. I really, really don't want to lose. I, I can probably afford to, but I don't want to lose any more HP on this floor. You know, we might have to survive on this amount of Spirit Hearts for a long, long time. Oh, lucky us. Okay. Could be great. Empress. Hierophant. So good. World. 
Not worth anything. Two of clubs. Um, Joker, Joker? Well, why don't we use one Joker right now, then? We got Dead Sea Scrolls, which is awful. Breath of Life, which is still completely abysmal. Um, I should have picked up Dead Sea Scrolls, I guess. We'll pick up Breath of Life. Uh, and, and then we'll go... Look. Empress World... Because my thinking is we we might need to use the Joker card to get back, but we might as well get one more reroll because you never know what we could get out of this Angel Room, right? Like that second secret room looked or worked out so nicely for us. Oh, don't make me do it like this. There's like a hundred rooms to go to and none of them are close, and we can't see the map. Like that's just uh, that's just embarrassing. Uh, infamy saved us from taking damage from the Mask of Infamy, so I'm very confused about that overall. Uh, Turn of events. Have we been here? We have been here. Okay. Let's just try to remember where we're going here so we don't get completely lost. This looks like it could be at least two or three rooms. And then we just fight the boss. Because uh, I want to get something valuable out of, uh, out of that angel room. The soul was good. Dead Sea Scrolls is not. Breath of Life is, is definitely not. At least in our current uh, loadout. I think. Unless we can make it, use it to make us completely invincible. I doubt it, though. Um, what do you think? Like, second se or first secret room, like here? Oh, that that's probably not going to find it, huh? First secret room here? Oh! Oh, that's so good. I'm glad I looked. I was like, ah, fuck it. We'll just pay for it. Ceremonial robes is worth taking. I understand that we could take it later and maybe save some HP in the process. I'm just going to take it now. Um, what did we get from our first angel room? I don't even remember at this point. Three spirit arts, I think, and then the key piece, which is not a great haul. We got some sweet-ass Doctor Doom stuff going on here. Alright. Left and then up, I think. A couple rooms. Conquest is, is highly re-rollable, or White Pony, I should say, is highly re-rollable, but I would rather re-roll the Angel Room, because the Angel Room can give us Godhead or Sacred Heart or any of those items that I apparently never get. Thank you so much, Infamy. Saved me like three times there. Oh my god, it actually did give us Godhead. All is forgiven. And we're, this is the loadout that we want. I mean, I'd like to be able to reroll that again, but we don't want to take an Empress or a World card. This is so good. Alright, Curse of the Blind is like effectively meaningless here. Uh, I'm thinking we go bottom left. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It already is so good, but it's it's gonna be even better. Justice card, sure, why not? I don't think there's any way we can squander this run at this point. And please don't do us all uh, an anti-favor. That that's an awkward way to explain that. But don't say, see Northern Lion, this is why you should go to Angel Rooms all the time. That's intellectually dishonest. It's like getting, you know, three Guppy items and then you take them all, become Guppy, and reroll Guppy's head and paw into, like, Brimstone and Abaddon or something like that. See, this is why you should always do Devil Rooms, you know? It happens both ways. No. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe it makes me a pussy. I'm not gonna do it. This is the first time I've had Godhead in, like, 150, 200 runs. We are going to do this run. And god dang it, I worked for Godhead on this one. I worked my ass off to get Godhead on this one. And I'm not giving it up for, for something stupid. Reroll it into a piece of crap. It doesn't get any zanier than what we have right now. And now we got a Devil Room, which is very strange to me. We don't want either of those, really. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. Oh, that damage is good. It's not the best damage we've ever had. Hopefully that'll come with the... Uh, the Yera uh, rune finish. I don't think this will be a special room, but that's okay. It could have been a curse room or something like that. I mean, it's not like we have a great chance of becoming Guppy, but it's not like we need a great chance to become Guppy either. Did we kill the foot? Is that what happened there? Or did my brain break? Because I was looking at it, I was like, these feet are actually sounding like they're doing death animations, but maybe that's just the normal sound. Um, no Krampus on this, right? I guess it's because we didn't have many uh, deals with the devil. Just deals with the angel. Come on, small rock. Wow. Uh, if we were on red hearts, that could be incredible, though. Alright. And we don't even have Cursed Eye yet, so I can't accidentally teleport myself out of the Mega Satan fight. That is really encouraging. 
Okay. I don't even... I... I try... Okay. I, it takes me a while to diagnose what happens in a stupid situation like that. I stupidly forgot that we had Curse of the Maze, so I went to hit the space bar to skip the animation that plays when you enter the room, and instead used my D6 because Curse of the Maze teleported us not into the boss room. So, we will have to do a little bit more exploration on the next floor to get a reroll, but we'll use our Yarrow Rune right off the bat. Let's do it. It'll be eight of those. Alright, uh, so far so good, except for a couple of them. So I'm not gonna take Libra, because I don't trust it. We will take Bum Friend. No, we shouldn't have done that. We will take Eve's Mascara, because we have the Cancer Trinket. I don't think we're going to take uh, any other of these, except Sissy Longlegs. This leaves us four items that we can reroll, and admittedly, I, I fucked up. I shouldn't have... I rerolled some I shouldn't have rerolled, or... Let me put it this way. I took some that I shouldn't have taken. I should have left them for rerolls and maybe taken some other items and then, you know, reprioritized that way. But it's, it's a minor mistake at this point. Eve's Mascara is going to make our spiders and flies so good. I shouldn't have taken Bum Friend is what I'm trying to get at, I guess. I don't know why I'm being coy about it. And... Okay. I mean, it's weird. Because if I use Undefined, I can't fight Mega Satan. You know? Like, if I get an Error Room, I can't fight Mega Satan. So I think we're just not going to use Undefined. I hope that doesn't seem like a cop-out. We can't fight Mega Satan if we use it. Take this, take this, take this, and I think it's time to go. I mean, we could fight Mega Satan and then teleport out, but I don't understand really why we would want to do that. The, the point of taking Undefined is so you can use it, you can do multiple chests, you know, multiple loops of the chest, but we don't really gain any, uh, any value out of that in this weird scenario because of the Mega Satan thing. It's okay, though. Um, this, this Mega Satan fight is going to be over in, like, no time flat. Where are the shears even at? I don't know what's happening, but this is going to be one of the fastest Mega Satan fights we've ever had, I think. I don't think he's done an attack yet. By the time he gets, like, done an attack animation, he's already, uh, screwed. I'll, also, we have BFF shears, which is a, a huge, uh, damage increase for the shears, which is already amazing. And then the soul just made it so we couldn't get hit there. That was a great run. I had a great time. If you enjoyed that run... Click the like button, it helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Next, we're going to be on our Isaac run for 30 wins. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.